Named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, Venus is the brightest object in the night sky after our moon. It may look like Earth from a distance, but beneath its atmosphere, lies a world that differs from Earth in every other way imaginable. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, with it being 30% closer to the Sun than Earth. Like all the other inner planets in our solar system, Venus is a terrestrial planet mostly made up of an iron core, a mantle, and a crust, like Earth. Venus is known for being Earth's sister planet, because both Venus and Earth have similarities in diameter, with Venus being 12,100 kilometers in diameter, while Earth being 12,750 kilometers in diameter. The density on both of the planets is also pretty similar, with Venus density being 5.2 grams per cubic centimeter, while Earth's density being 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. But unfortunately, that's where the similarities between the two planets end. What is surprising about Venus is that it has an extremely weak magnetic field, even though Earth and Venus have similar compositions. Also, Venus contains a very thick atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide and with the atmospheric pressure being 92 times higher than that on Earth. Roughly the same pressure you would find if you were one kilometer underwater. In fact, temperatures on the surface of Venus reach 467 degrees Celsius, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. The reason why Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system is because of the extreme greenhouse effect on the planet, trapping almost all the heat coming from the sun. Because of its thick atmosphere, it reflects 70% of the light coming from the sun, which makes it the second brightest object in the night sky. Unlike all the other planets in our solar system, Venus is the only planet to rotate the opposite direction, known as retrograde rotation as well as being the only planet in the solar system to rotate in the opposite direction. Venus day lasts longer than its year, with a day lasting 243 Earth days, or 5,832 hours, and a year on Venus lasts 225 Earth days. Even though the planet rotates very slowly, up in its atmosphere, wind speeds can reach 360 km an hour. This means the clouds whiz around the planet in just four days. Venus' hellish surface is filled with volcanoes and lava flows, making up most of the planet's crust. In fact, research suggests that Venus was once habitable and could have supported life. For the first two billion years of the planet's history, Venus may have had liquid water on its surface. But because the planet is closer to the Sun than Earth, Scientists think that all the water that had existed on Venus' surface had escaped the planet. In total, there have been over 20 successful space missions to Venus. Before getting the first space probe to Venus, there were several failed attempts. On the 27th of August 1962, the first successful launch of a space probe to fly by Venus was the Mariner 2 spacecraft by NASA. It reached the planet on the 14th of December 1962. But in fact, the first space probe to land on the surface of Venus was the Venera 5 space probe by the Soviet Union. It took pictures of the surface of Venus and transmitted data and images of its surface back to Earth. It was also the first time a space probe had landed on another planet. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos like this. Thanks for watching.